I'm Afton, I'm the designer for Reckless Erica. Yeah, I'm Louis, I'm, I manage the business for Reckless Erica. And we have another partner, she's also a designer, Ruth, she's based in Jakarta. Inspired by the free willed and reckless nature of the main character in the book, Whatever You Think, Think the Opposite, this fashion collective started their label Reckless Erica, encompassing the whole spirit of risk taking. We have uh, two labels, one is our main line Reckless Erica, another one is Odds by Reckless Erica. What me and Ruth like out of the two labels is um, at least we get to escape into our design or creative side with Reckless Erica. Reckless Erica is designed based on seasons. The collections have themes, but for odds, we just infuse a bit of our uniqueness inside, but yet we focus more on wearability. Usually, Afton and Ruth will come out with a design. We'll make the sample yeah. and we'll actually try it on ourselves, try it on different people. On mannequins, everything. Yeah. And then after that, we'll sit down with Lewis and we'll discuss like whether this will work. At the end of the day, it's the sale, so... Yeah. If, let's say, it's too outrageous, or uh, we'll find a balance there. We can probably break, break that design down into two more designs or three more designs. Surprisingly, the, the customers now that we have, they are more... Um, Experimental. Yeah, quite a few pieces that I think that is a bit off. They actually sell off the way quite fast. We want fashion to be fun for our customers. So it lets them explore with the, their own style as well through wearing our clothes. With the quirky and contemporary designs and a realistic retail plan, the trio aim to sustain their design aesthetics without being manipulated by the competitive fashion business of today. In order for a business to survive, design has to balance with business side. Because sustainability in Singapore is quite tough, especially now the economy and all. So, I mean, after... Um, we, we, I can say that when we were doing an online, we were running the online business and stocking and stockies, we didn't feel the pinch, we didn't feel the pain because we haven't paid rent. Yeah, so actually when you start paying rent, then, then you will start to really have to go and find out what works, what, not, what doesn't work because at the end of the day, you're burning your own pocket. And so um, after that, because of, uh, we, we really do not know our, our customers, so we, we sort of um, exploring into the fashion business. Uh, we get to see who is our customer profile, who, who, wears, our, who wears Reckless Erica because we, we don't know when we were retailing online and things like that. So um, when we finally got our space, it's good that we had interaction with our customers and we learned what they like. Uh, but although we know what they like, we don't totally uh, focus our designs on what the customers like. We also infuse in our style as well, so design still comes to us first because uh, we think that we still need to have our own unique touch to that, eye, to that garment. So um, we will probably produce lesser piece of the more outrageous looking outfit so that uh, people don't bump into each other wearing the same item as well. Today they have outgrown their initial online boutique space and ventured into a physical retail space. The Reckless Shop is where these proud Singaporeans stock their latest collections and designs. Most of all, they strive to be known as entirely made in Singapore. When our customers know that we are a Singapore made in Singapore label, they are actually surprised because um, they they seldom hear about uh, Singaporean labels. So I think an awareness needs to be built there. Uh, so we try as much as possible to tell as many people as possible that we are a made in Singapore label. And there is a really positive uh, support given to us by our customers, and they won't shun away because they think that we are a local label. They actually love it that there is local labour around and we try to educate them about Paco as well and let them know about more designers and things like that.